Looks as though Providence is gonna take a timeout here. Not a great start for the Friar defense, but hopefully they can get a stop here. Yeah, Tanner, that's right. You know, Providence Catholic rushes a lot, so yeah. it'll be hard to stop them. They're a big rushing team. A little soothing jazz by the band here. If you'll look, if you'll look behind the Providence bench, you'll see the full moon is cast out. Full moon looks beautiful for a Friday night lights showdown of the Friars and the Celtics. Hopefully the Friars can pull out something special here. Load the line and get a stop. Prod Providence over their two games have proved that they like to run the ball a lot, so maybe we'll see another run here. And it is a run. But he's stopped. And they are stopped. At the three yard line for a two yard loss. Friars just rushed into the backfield there. You're seeing a big increase in the defensive spirit. Junior linebacker Luke DeLise got into the backfield quick and took down Proudfoot for a loss of two. A lot of energy from this defense. I wonder if Providence will go with the pass here. Looks like the defensive line is getting infiltration on that offensive line. Same shotgun setup for the Celtics. Pass is dropped by number three. Friar football players on the sideline are trying to get the student section going. See the manager is trying to get the crowd riled up and the crowd is responding. Big three and two here for the Friars on defense. Would really be a statement if they could get a stop here. It might be two down territory for Providence. We'll only have to wait to see. Empty backfield here. Matt Pataglia running down the sideline for a timeout. Didn't like what he was seeing on defense. Friars will take a timeout here. You know, that's all right. Sometimes they just need a time to chill out, you know? Fun fact, actually, today in 1929, ni 93 years ago, actually, 180 freshmen, 22 sophomores for the first class of Fenwick in the class of 1932. That's a long time away, yes. isn't it, Tanner? We should be singing happy birthday for Fenwick. 93 years young. It's been a great 93 years for Fenwick. It has been. A lot of history. A lot, a lot of, of roots. history in sports, academics, in faith. And tradition Speaking and an excellence. Of faith, Father Pettacord is on the sideline every single game for the Friars, rooting them on. Hopefully we can work a little magic with God here to get us a stop. You can see Father Pettacord is solely focused on the game. You can see he's very invested president in his school. Friars student section is getting loud for this big third down here. Trayvon Jackson, the runner for Providence, was shoved down. Offensive line was nowhere to be found. You can see the Friar football team is so amped, getting the crowd even more amped. This is such an exciting game to watch, Tanner. Yes, it is. Defense chance going around. Like I said, two down territory for Providence. Let's see what they draw up here. Huge fourth down play right here. Same shotgun sec with Crowfoot and Jackson in the back. Wide receiver screen in the and back. And he's down! Dropped. The pass is dropped. Huge stand for Fred Fenwick. That's setting a great example for the rest of this game is gonna go. Amazing start for the Friars. Big rebound. Let's see if this offense can keep marching down the field. A 
amazing start for the Friars. This offense led by senior EJ Hosey will probably look to run the ball again, seeing how the first drive went. Looks as though Fenwick's in an empty backfield right now. Five, five receivers out wide. Timeout taken by Time the Friars. on the Friars. Didn't like they were, what they were seeing. Open to reset their defense. Both teams a little confused to start the game, but the Friars are up 8-0 with six minutes left in the first quarter. Friars are looking for Friars are looking for another good drive. I wonder if we'll see some more throws on this drive. What do you think, Andy? I think that's I didn't hear you. Here we go, Friars chance by the student section. Looks as though number four, Will Gladden, will be in for QB. Last week against Thornwood, they did many wildcat formations. Another run here. He stopped at the line. One yard loss for the Friars. As I was saying before, 42 to six win last week for the Friars. Will Gladden had a touchdown in the Wildcat formation. All around great performance by the Friars last week. Here we are in the same set. Gladden will take another run. Jukes the defender, still running. Amazing, nine yard gain for the Friars. Bring up a third and manageable. Oh, looks as though they're going to give the Friars the first down. EJ Hosty is back in for the Friars. Looks like Coach Battaglia is going to go with a two QB split for this game. Passes completed to number eight, Rowan White. For another first down for the Friars. Rowan White has a total of 15 yards this season. There are many juniors and seniors who lead both the offense and the defense. Looks as though the referees will convene. There Tanner, may have you know been a flag. Tanner, you know the Friars have a big reputation to live up this year. They won state last year. They lost 30 of their varsity team, 30 players. Tough loss for the Friars, but you know what? Rebound year here. Friars are looking hopeful. Trying to go far in state again this year. Live up to what the team li did last year. EJ Hosty in a shotgun set. Halfback die for the Friars. Five yard gain. <laughs> Looks like Coach Battaglia is really relying on his offensive line to get this pressure on the defensive line for these runs. You can see how Coach Matt Battaglia has such a great faith in his team. Really putting the hands of the team, any of these boys. Another run by Nino Samir. For a four yard gain, it'll be third and eight. Third and seven here for the Friars. Expecting a pass here. What do you say, Andy? I am expecting a pass here, you know. EJ 
Jay checking his defense here. Drops back to pass. Caught, amazing catch by number number eight, Rowan White. Looks as though it would be short of the first down. Fourth and four. Looks as though the prior offense is staying out there, going for it. Coach Battaglia calling plays from the sideline like always. The Friars really never go into the huddle. They're always hurry up offense. Fenwick has a never give up kind of attitude. Fenwick fast, as the football team will always say, Fenwick fast. Truly embodies what Fenwick means. Confusion by the offense. Flag on the play. Looks as though it might be delay game on the offense. There. Oh, timeout by the Friars. That Fenwick fast attitude made him get in a little bit of trouble, didn't they, Tanner? You might not be able to see on the broadcast. But above above the Providence sideline, there's a great full moon cast out. Truly beautiful night for Friday Night Light Football. Such a beautiful night, Tanner. You know, these are the nights you gotta remember as a high school kid. Big fourth down here for the Friars. Hopefully they can convert. Usual shotgun set for the Friars. Pass completed at number 13, Patrick Durkin for a Friar first down. Amazing set with EJ Hosty rolling out to the right. Patrick Durkin was hit across the middle of the field on a slant route. Friars back to the line once more. The crowd is so amped for this game, Tanner. Half is taken, halfback dive again for a two yard gain. The crowd. Rios Amir on another carry. The crowd is matching the team's energy so well, Tanner, I tell yes, you. Yes, it is. Second and seven for the Friars. Hosty takes the snap, drops back to pass, looking deep. Overthrown, overthrown for number seven, Dennis Moore. Great chance to go deep, just didn't work out there. Fenwick living up to its very aggressive attitude. Yes. Third and five here for the Friars. Third and seven, check that. See what Coach Battaglia has in store for us today. Hosty with the snap again, another pass to the sideline, just a bit high. Just a bit high for number eight, Rowan White. I'll bring up fourth and seven for the Friars. Offense is staying out on the field. I wonder if we'll see a punt by EJ Hosty. The Friars have been known to have their QBs punt rather than a set punt formation. EJ Hosty drops back for a punt. A good boot from EJ. Providence runs it back. Number 22. Stop is, taken, the Friar is taken down by the Friars. Taken out by number 72, David Blake, a junior at Fenwick. 
Let's see if the Friar defense can have another stop like they did last possession for the Providence Catholic Celtics. Proudfoot back in the backfield with Jackson. Another shotgun set. Motion to receiver. Trouble with the snap. He's brought down for a loss by the Friars. That's a one yard loss for the Providence Catholic Celtics. This Friar D line is getting amazing, amazing infiltration on the offensive line of Providence. Great things to see for Fenway. Proudfoot under center. Takes a snap, hands it off to Jackson. Jackson's still running for a 10 yard gain. Jackson just would not go down there. He was getting carried by uh, number 61. His O lineman brings it up third and two for the Celtics. Providence talking over what they're going to do here on offense with this third and two. Third and manageable for Providence. The playbook should be open for them. See if this prior defense can get a stop. Proudfoot under center again. Hand off to halfback. Looks though he's short. Stopped by a train of Fenwick defenders. Amazing school spirit here tonight. The cheerle cheerleaders are out in fashion. Student section is hype and loud. Student section is fully packed to the top of the rafters. I mean, students on the fences everywhere. It is a fully packed student section. Here's fourth and one. Looks as though a timeout was taken. Or end of first quarter. Fenwick eight, Providence zero. Amazing first half by the Friars. Uh, the best thing they did best for Fenwick is, you know, they rushed a lot. They had a good defense, stopped them at the one yard line. You know, just great defense. The Friars are coming in very confident today. After that loss last year to Providence, they're looking to set the tone for the rest of the season and go on a two game win streak. You know, the players are looking for a winning streak this season, aren't they? Friars, Friars look great to start. Fourth and one here. Proudfoot under center. QB sneak. Looks as though he got it for a two yard gain. Celtic first down. Providence is at the 50 right now, middle of the field. You know, big game for the Friars next week actually is their homecoming week. Yes, De La Salle. De La Salle is one and one right now in the CCL White. The Friars are also one and one. Tough CCL White division here. Could be big for the Friars if they pick up this win against the CCL Orange opponent. Could be, could get them some running momentum, which the players have been looking for all season and even in last season. Oh, fumble with the snap. It's taken down in the backfield by a Poor Take it out on the back by 26 by Avion Brown. Snap was high for Proudfoot. Just couldn't bring it down. Friars jumped on the opportunity. Looks as though it'll be second and 25 for the Celtics.
Okay, on Monday, you know, the Friars students have a neon themed dress code. They are having a full week of being out of their uniform, you know, getting to freely express themselves. In celebration of homecoming week. Friars into the backfield again. A sack, TFL for number 54, David Blake. Junior David Blake. David Blake had a sack last week and is looking to keep on going this week. Friars are getting a lot of infiltration on the Providence offensive line. Brings up third and almost 30 for the Celtics. I wonder what they'll do here. Looks as though it's a run for some breathing room for a punt. Only one yard gain there. Defensive line was there for the stop. Stopped by number 72, David Blake. It's fourth down for the Celtics. Fourth and 20 for the Celtics. There's no way they don't punt here. We'll see, Tanner. Will Gladden back for the Friars. Also, Eliza Romeus. Celtics going for a punt here. Long punt. Over the shoulder catch for Romeus. Brought down by the Celtics, but there is a flag thrown on the play. Might be a face mask by the Celtics. Ooh, it looks, it's it looks as though it's going to be on Fenwick. Could back us up to our own five or ten. Holding by the Friars. Tough break for Fenwick. Full confidence in the offense, though, that they can keep marching down the field. Absolutely, Tanner. This offense is so aggressive. I've never seen anything like it. Looking forward for the Friars next week, as we set the homecoming game against Steve LaSalle. Then we travel to Wilmette for a tough, tough, tough game against Loyola Academy. Then we travel to Marmion, and then at home, Triton here for St. Pat's. EJ Hoshi takes the snap. Pass, wide open, oh! Incomplete dropped, pass to number seven. Dropped by Dennis Moore. Almost a Friar touchdown. Nothing but open field in front of him. Hard play to make. It's really got to get their spirits down, but you know, hopefully they bounce back. Beautiful drawn up play by Coach Battaglia. Almost all wide receivers were wide open on that play. Providence was expecting a run. They get it here on the second play. For no gain. Number 33 on the run, Luke Delis. Third and 10 for the Friars. Probably looking to get a little breathing room. EJ Hosty, empty backfield. Motions over Brian Timpone. Sets next to him for a halfback. Hosty drops back for a screen play. Thrown into the ground though, incomplete pass. Intended for number 33, Brian Timpone. Brings up fourth and 10 for the Friars. Looks as though we might have another punt. 
Coach Matt Pataglia seems a little frustrated on the sidelines. Like before EJ drops back for the punt. Another good kick for EJ Hosey. Ooh, good tackle. Good tackle by number 44, Eliza Ramius. Junior, core defensive player for us. Eliza Amazing Romeus. Tackle. Eliza Romeus had four and a half tackles. Eliza Romeus, one of the leaders on this defense. Leading us for tackles, TFLs. Providence again in the backfield with Jackson. Option play gone wrong. Brought down by a horde of Friars, led by number 19, Frank Hosty. No gain for the Celtics, brings up second and 10 at the Friar 40. Celtics going into a huddle, seeing what they can do. Looks like the Friar defense is running on all cylinders right now. Not much is getting past that defensive line. Another shotgun set. Wide receiver screen for the Celtics. Met by numerous Friars for no gain again. Brings up third and 10 for the Celtics. Defense really working in tandem. Yes they are Tanner, I mean. They are so pumped. Looks as though Providence Celtics coaches are not happy on the sideline. Not much is working for them against this fire defense. Fryer defense looking to improve their game against the Celtics. Proudfoot drops back to press. Flag on the play. Brought down by the defensive line again. For a Looks as though loss. we might have holding on the Celtics. Defensive ends really got into the backfield quickly and the offensive line had nothing but holding to do. That runner was taken down by number 75, Mirko Yaxis. Mirko has three and a half tackles this year. Looks as though Coach Battaglia is going to decline the penalty. It'll be fourth and 15 for the Celtics. Student section is chanting four more years to freshmen. Fenwick tradition. Celtics are back to punt. Low snap, fumbled by the punter. Gets it off in time though. Elijah back to receive, still running, brought down by the Celtics. Looks as though we'll have it on the Fenwick 16 yard line. As we were saying at the beginning of the broadcast, it's middle school night for the Friars. A number of middle schools are represented here tonight. It's great that Fenwick's doing that. One of Fenwick's main tradition is Friday Night Lights. My experience as a shadow here, when I went here, I went to one of these football games when I was in middle school. So much fun, I went with all my friends. We had a great time. Fenwick really has a sense of community and family. Shows it mainly here at the middle school night. A number of middle schools here. EJ Hosey back in the shotgun set. Fenwick is a wide receiver. Looks over the middle for number seven, Dennis Moore, for a nine yard completion, 10 yard completion. It will be a Friar first down. What you were saying earlier, Tanner, about the family. One of the main things about Fenwick is the four Dominican pillars, and one of them is community. 
you know, one of the main points of going to Fenwick as opposed to other schools is we have such a great athletic department and such great athletic teams. Fake wide receiver screen. Posey rolling out. Almost a catch by number 82, Mikey Casatolo. Looks as though there's a flag on the play. OB holding on the Friars. Fenwick student section is not having that. A little bit of negative energy from them. Fenwick student section is letting the referee hear his bad call. Well, we can't all be refs, can we, Tanner? No, we cannot. Looks as, though, looks as though it's going to be first and 25 for the Friars. Amazing wheel route ran by the Friars. Oh, but he dropped the ball. Number 28, Nino Samir. Celtics recover and are running back. Still up. Brought down by the Friars. Flag on the play, though. An amazing play call by the Friars. Nitos just couldn't hold on. Celtics will take over. Looks as though the flag's gonna be on Providence. Timeout is taken on the field. Flag is on Providence, but Providence retains possession of the ball. You know, if you happen to miss this game, there's plenty of Fenwick Friar football games to go to. Ton of energy, such a great time. One of the pluses of the season. An odd number of home games for us. Probably the most we've had in recent years. Many opportunities for middle schoolers to come and watch us play football. Providence, Proudfoot, under, under the center. Looks as though Jackson will get the ball again for a six yard gain for the Celtics. Taken by Luke DeLise. Taken down by number 33. Luke DeLise is also one of the leaders on this defense. Junior. He has he has two tackles on the season from last game. Jackson again on the handoff. Big hit by number 19, Frank Hosty. Third and two for the Celtics. Big third down for the Friar defense here. Hopefully thinking that's a stop. Snap high again, handed off to Jackson. Jackson still running, taken down by number 26, Avion Brown. Celtics are down at the five yard line for the Friars. Looks as though the Celtics are going. Celtics are going, hurry up offense here. Another handoff to Jackson, taken down by the Friar defensive line. Luke DeLise on the tackle. Luke DeLise is a main part of the Fenwick defense. Yes, he is. Kurt Fryer on the field. Number 56, 
Vince Nugent. Providence. We got an official timeout right now. Three minutes left in the second quarter here. Hopefully Still, Fenwick right. eight, Providence zero. Hopefully the Friars here can get a stop on defense and hold them before halftime. At halftime, the Palms dance team will perform for the Friar faithful. Proud foot back out to the Celtics under center. Stacked offensive line here for the Celtics. Looks as though it may be a run. And it is handed off to number six. Number six, Mason Santiago. For a four yard gain for the Celtics. It's second down for the Celtics. Looking to get a touchdown here. Se second and goal for the Celtics here on the Friar five yard line. Another sacked offensive line for the Celtics. Handed off the other way to Mason Santiago. Running left, taken down Stopped by number, by number 44. 44. Eliza Ramirez. Great outside. Inf no gain on the play. It's third and five. Friars sideline is getting the crowd pumped up for this big third and goal here for the Celtics. Fenwick's crowd team. Back in the shotgun formation. Motions out right. Looks as though it's a touchdown for the Celtics. Flags on the play. Flag down. Option read for the Celtics. Proudfoot ran around our prior defensive end in for a score. Numerous flags on the field here. Looks as though it will be on the Celtics. But the field goal, field goal unit is out for the Celtics. Might be after the play was over. Coach Battaglia does not look happy walking off the field. Looks as though they're moving back to field goal unit. Long field goal for the Celtics. Referee is still moving. Looks as though it's gonna be a 26 yard field goal here. Correction, 36 yard field goal. Very long field goal here. It's up. Looks as though it's good for the Celtics. They'll make it an eight to seven game with 134 remaining in the second quarter. Friar defense. Providence came out strong on that possession. As you see Coach Matt Pataglia on the sideline, he is 13 and four as his record. Second year here for the Friars. Coach Pataglia has really brought a new, really brought a new feel for the Friar football dynasty. Brought us our first state championship last year. Looking to continue that record. Will Gladden back for the kickoff. He had a good running head start out to the 31 and is finally brought down by a board of Celtics. Yeah. 
Friars take over with 128 left in the second quarter. Let's see if Coach Battaglia will try and punch something in before the halftime. Hosty back out to QB. Shotgun set, motions over receiver. Back to pass, throwing deep for Dennis Moore. Pass incomplete. Little hand fighting between Dennis Moore and the Celtic cornerback. No call on the uh, pass interference on that play though. So for Fenwick tonight, it's country night. So all the kids are out in their cowboy hats, cowboy boots, jeans, flannels, you know, everything. Everyone uh, looks great. People are wearing belt buckles, you know, the whole nine yards. Confusion for the refs. Looks as though they're moving the ball another yard forward for the Friars. Brings up second and 10. Hosty back in the backfield, shotgun set. It's a run. Snap, handed off to Brian Timpone for a four yard gain. Timeout taken on the field by Providence. As we were saying early, it's country theme night for the Friar Faithful in the student section. Everyone's got cowboy hats on, belt buckles, the boots. Student section leaders are showing out in full force. Mascot St. Dominic is trying to get the student section pumped up. Some of the, even the cheerleaders have cowboy hats on. Trying to get this Fenwick offense pumped up for 110 left in the second quarter, eight to seven. You can feel the student section jumping on the bleachers. Such an incredible feeling here. EJ Hosty back to QB. Snap to Hosty. Pass through the hands of number seven, Dennis Moore. Brings up fourth and six. A lot of drop passes for the Friars tonight, something that Coach Battaglia is probably not happy about. Referees keep moving the ball back and forth. Still fourth and six for the Friars. EJ Hosey with the punt. I Celtics let it drop on the field. Elijah Ramias falls on it. Coach Matt Battaglia wanted it to go a little farther. 35 se seconds left in the half, so I don't think it will be too much of a problem for the Friars to hold Providence here. You know, Tanner, you were talking about uh, Coach Matt Battaglia's uh, record for the past two years at Fenway. Um, the coach for Providence, Mark Coglianese, has 106 wins and 70 losses for the Celtics. Yes, Coach Mark Coglianese has been for the uh, been at Providence for 16 years. These schools are very much different in size and in their programs. Fenwick's had a total of football. Proudfoot back to pass, throws it over a Providence Celtic head. Fenwick has a total record of 90 years in their football program, whereas Providence has a record of 54 years. Another big gap. Fenwick has just under 1,200 students, and Providence Catholic has just under 900.
crowd puts back in the shotgun set. Looks for a pass to number 10, who's wide open for Providence first down. Number 10, Jimmy Peterson. Looks as though there's some confusion for the cornerbacks and priors, because number 10 was left wide open on that play. Forty-two seconds remaining in the second quarter. Providence back to the line of scrimmage. Proudfoot and Jackson, dynamic duo in the backfield. Another pass. It's incomplete. Into the ground, incomplete. Intended for number 10, Jimmy Peterson. Bring up second and 10 for the Celtics. I want to do the numbers for Celtics. You need to get numbers for Fenway. That's the most of them. That's the Providence taking their time in the huddle back to the line of scrimmage. Proudfoot still looking over the sideline. See what his coach wants him to do. Friar defense lines up. Proudfoot. Drops back, looking deep. Throws it to no man's land, almost intercepted by number 44, Eliza Ramias. Wide receiver was in the area. Pass was a little too high and a little too far. 32 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Third and 10. Uh, 12 seconds left in the second quarter. Correction, 32 seconds left. Looks as though we might see another Providence pass as halfback motions out. Proudfoot back to pass. Completed over the middle of the field. That's a Providence first down. completed to number 88, Charlie Storm. They're in a tough scoring position with just 24 seconds left to continue Providence this run. Providence going hurry up. Back to pass again, but dropped. Late Flag hit down. by the Friars. Number 15, Donnell French, with a little too much contact after the whistle. Refs aren't gonna like that one. Pass is incomplete. They're first and 10 on the 40. Ball will be moved up. Looks as though it will be first and 10 on the 20 for Providence. 17 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Clock has stopped. Chains are still moving as Providence gets to the line of scrimmage. Identical shotgun set as they usually have, Providence. Motions the tight end over. Proudfoot drops back to pass, looking left, throws it over number three's head. Brings up second and 10 for the Celtics. It's 11 good, seconds left. Good defense by number 19. 19, Seamus Dunlap. up second and 10 11 seconds remaining in the second quarter Friars looking to get a defensive stop here would be very big to be taking the lead into the halftime for the Friars remaining at 8 to 7 Proudfoot and Jackson back in the backfield Proudfoot drops back to pass completed to number 11 for the Celtics that are on the clock down. Number 11, Jack Pess. Looks so, as though it's gonna be a four yard gain, brings up third and six for the Celtics on the Friars 15 yard line. Five seconds left. Five seconds remaining in the second quarter. Timeout 
taken on the field. As the, as the Celtics take their timeout, let's look back at some Fenwick football history. Fenwick has a long and rich history of uh, football. 1953 Heisman Trophy winner Johnny Latner was part of Fenwick. Fenwick won its first state championship in 2022, 5A state champions last year. Coach Matt Pataglia's second year with the Friars. Looks as though the Celtics will be taking a field goal here. 30 yard field goal here. Up, it looks as though it's right. It Celtics not have good. missed the field goal. Time is out in the second quarter and the Friars will be taking it to halftime with the lead. Oh, it looks as though there's a flag on the play. It's against Fenway. One of the Friars must have run into the kicker on that. Celtics will be moved up to the 12, eight yard line of the Friars. Field goal unit is still out there for a 50, 25 yard field goal. Sideline is pumping up the student section to get loud for this. Snap is taken, kick is up and blocked. Blocked by the Friars. Ball is still free on the ground. Free ball. Fenwick picks it up. Pushed out though. Friars will take the lead in the halftime. Eight to seven. Amazing infiltration by the Friars. It looks as though there's another flag on the play. Maybe continue this quarter. Many fans are itching to go back into their seats for halftime. Looks as though it's on the Friars. Coach Matt Battaglia is out talking to the referee. Looks as though there were offsetting penalties on that play, which will end the quarter. Friars take the lead eight to seven in the halftime. Great half by the Friars. Great half of football for this Friday Night Lights showdown between the Friars and the Celtics. You know, Tanner, we were talking earlier about the middle school night. There are some younger cheerleaders out here helping the Palms team. Fenwick fight song will be taken. Yes, there are special guests here. We invited younger cheerleaders to come hang out with the Fenwick cheer squad. Middle school night by the Friars encompasses everyone in the community, including the cheerleaders. Andy and I will be back after halftime. Friars with the lead, eight to seven going into half.
Welcome back to tonight's showing of Friday, Friday Night Lights. Fire football taking on the Providence Celtics. Providence will receive the kickoff to start the second half. Spirits are high here tonight. Number 11, Jack Tess back for the Celtics as well as Keegan White from number eight. Eric for a Jack, onside kick try here for the Friars. Looks as though it went out of bounds. Flag is thrown, tough break for the Friars. Tried to pull a little trickery for the start of the second half. Didn't work quite work out. Celtics will retain possession. Oh, it looks as though it's a false start on the Friars. Got an illegal procedure on Fenwick. Celtics first down. Celtics will have possession at their own 49 yard line. Whistle called by the ref. One odd thing about this game, a lot of flags thrown by the refs yeah, on that, both sides. That attests to uh, Providence's very tough physical attitude. They're a very tough team. Some slight confusion between the referees. Still talking about where the ball should be placed. Convening in the middle of the field. Moving the ball up five yards. Now on the Fenwick 46 yard line. Ref seems to have an issue with the player. Clock was at 12.48 seconds, but the ref asked to be put it back at 12 minutes left in this third quarter, which has just started. Proudfoot under center. Looks as though Providence's halfback tripped and fell right into a fry tackler. Number 54, David Blake. The crowd starting chance of Fenwick here. Such an energetic crowd here tonight at Country Night for the Fenwick Friars. Second and 11 here for the Celtics. Lost a yard, now they're on the Fenwick 47. Celtics back in a very similar set as to the one last play. Knocked down by Nate Marshall. QB Amazing play for the, the Friars. QB faked the handoff, rolled out through it right into the open arms of Nate Marshall, knocked it down for an incomplete pass. Third and 11. Amazing defense by the Friars. Really been a defensive battle the entire night. Tanner, this is the first uh, Chicago Catholic League um, matchup for us this year. It is. And it's our home opener. So it's a very big night for these kids. Very important game here tonight. Two CCL opponents trying to win their divisions. Big third and 11 here for the Celtics. See if the Friars can get a stop. Shotgun set. Proudfoot drops back. Pass into incomplete. the middle of the field. Incomplete. Threw it just behind the wide receiver, number three, Dominic Agati. Looks as though there's a Friar hurt on the field. Number 90, Nate Marshall is limping back to the defensive line. Official timeout on the play. 
you know, Tanner, some of the uh, seniors here, These are this is their last year here, last time watching these football games. This is really emotional for them. They're all wearing cowboy hats. They're all getting rowdy, you know, having a great time. The uh, senior student section leader is actually Caleb Grohl, who is a starter on the vo volleyball team. Nate Marshall's still down on the field. Hopefully all is well with him. Seems to be holding his left ankle. Uh, you, that's the guy. That's the guy. Running off the field, good for Nate Marshall. What a True trooper. on this defensive end. Yeah, you never like to see injuries out here, you know? Because these are some of these kids' careers. They could be playing upper, and they can't. A lot of passion into this game. Very Nate emotional. one of the cornerstone defenders on our team. We wish him the best. Celtics back to punt. Looks as though Will Gladden, number four from the Friars, is back to receive. Friars lining the line, trying to block. He goes the punt. Celtics get it off in time. Will lets it bounce. Rolling, still rolling. Will decide to pick it up. Celtics recovered the punt. Looks as Will Glad touched the ball. Must have deflected off of him and the Celtics picked it up and rushed in for a touchdown. Coach Matt Battaglia is talking to the ref. He's throwing hands and he's throwing his headset. Will Gladden is saying to the ref he was down. Refs are convening with Coach Battaglia. Very serious conversation going on with the play. Official timeout on the field is called. Coach Battaglia does not look happy. Looks as though the Providence touchdown will stand. Tough break for the Friars. Side note, during halftime, the Palms put on a great performance. Both the Junior Palms, the dance team, and the Fenwick Friar Palms. Proudfoot backed in the shotgun set for the Celtics. Going for two here, looking over the middle. It's caught, caught by number 11, Jack Tess, for a two-point conversion, which is good by the Celtics. 15 to 10, Celtics with the lead with 10, 10 minutes left in the third quarter. Tough break all around for the Friars. One, one plus side is that Father Pettercourt had a very nice prayer to begin the to begin the game, wishing the players the best, playing, praying for both Saint Dominic and Saint Augustinian, leaders of the Dominican Friars and the Augustinians. Everyone loves the great sportsmanship represented by the Fenwick community and Father Pettercourt. Father Pettercourt, truly a embodiment of the Dominican pillars. Will Gladden back to receive for the Friars. Line drive kick. Will receives it, brings it out from his own 10. Running left. Tackled at the 23 yard line for a pickup of 13 yards there. Little shaken up after that tackle Will Gladden is. Looks to be hustling back to the sideline. We love to see that. Not a, not a lot of injuries this year, you see, for the players. Pretty good to see. EJ Hosey back in for the QB. 
Hopefully the Friars can march down the field and equalize the scoring. 10.40 remaining in the third quarter. Dropped pass by number 24, Andrew Bjorsen. Read option play there. EJ did not hand it off to Brian Timpone, opted to throw it out to our wide receiver. Dropped pass though, incomplete, brings up second and 10. Shotgun set again. Flag. Looks as though it might be offsides on the Friars. Not quite sure yet. Neutral zone infraction on the Friars correction. Back us up another five yards. Brings up second and 15 for the Friars. Hosty back, looking to pass, motions out to the right. Flag down. Throws it out. Flag on the ground. Looks as though there was a late hit. Some good, good sportsmanship. sportsmanship. Late Twin. hit by Providence, not called, but good sportsmanship as a defensive end from Providence. Helped EJ Hosty up after the play. Looks as though there's gonna be holding on the Friars though. Back us up even further. Showing the true. There's been a lot of flags this game. Holding on the Friars is declined by Providence. Brings up thir third and 15 for the Friars. Let's see what Battaglia has drawn up for us now. Hosty in the backfield with Brian Tampone as halfback. Takes a snap. Looking down the field, throws to the right for Dennis Moore, number seven, out of bounds though, too far out of number seven's reach. Fourth and 15 now for the Friars. Coach Pataglia is arguing with ref, wanted pass interference on the play but was not granted. Looks as though the punt unit will be going out for the Friars. Very strong defensive showing from both sides. Been a real defensive battle the entire game. Number 32 back, Gavin Hagen for Providence. Let's it bounce. Takes it. Tackled down by the Friars at the Fenwick. 33. Hopefully Fenwick defense can get a stop here. We do not want them going up by two touchdowns. Shotgun set again with the Celtics. One wide receiver out wide to the left. Running back is met at the line by a horde of Friars. Defensive line is very, very good at infiltrating the backfield and getting past a big old lineman from the Celtics. Number seven, Jamari Trebet with the carry. Uh, shout out to all the athletic trainers out there and all the water girls for the Fenwick Friars, making sure all the players are healthy and hydrated. Core part of the team, making sure everyone's safe while playing the game that we all love. Looks as though number 13, Patrick Durkin, is down on the field for the Friars. Could be just cramps. Looks like he's stretching out on the field. Coach Battaglia is having another conversation with the head referee. Looks as though Patrick Durkin is walking off the field with a limp. We hope all is well with him. Hopefully those athletic trainers get him back.
Patrick Durkin is a veteran defensive player. Senior this year, he's been on varsity for three years. Big part of this team. Very great leader. I actually have computer skills for business with him. Amazing person. Proudfoot drops back for the pass, looking deep. Wide open man. Looks as though Providence is gonna score. And that makes it eight, Fenwick, 21, Providence. Miscommunication between the Friar defense. Providence wide receiver was wide open on that play. Touchdown number 14, Alex Gibson. Gibson just ran right past our cornerbacks who looked to be in zone. No one picked him up though, so Providence touchdown makes it 21 to eight. Field goal unit is on the field for Providence. Snap received, kick is up and it's good. Makes it 22 to eight Providence over Fenwick. Not what we like to see on defense. We still believe in these boys. Hopefully the offense can bring back some of that energy for us. One plus side, student section is always energized. More and more chance throughout the game. Coach Patagola looks to be hyping up his players on the sideline. Trying to get their heads in the game, come back. 9.26 remaining in the third quarter. More than enough time to get the Friars back in this game. We're gonna need some big plays from the offensive team. Jalen Williams, Dennis Moore, Rowan White, Brian Tamponi. You know, we need some big plays from these Friars to get back in the game. Will Gladden and Dennis Moore back for the Friars. Kick received by Will Gladden, takes it out from the 10. Tackled by the Celtics at the Friar 24. First and 10 for the Friars. Hopefully to march down the field and score a touchdown for us. Timeout taken on the field by the Friars. The score might not reflect it, but the Friar student section is always in the game. St. Dominic, our mascot, is hyping up the crowd along with the cheerleaders. The band has been keeping the music playing throughout the game. Gotta love it from our Friars. Hosty the athletics. back, screen pass to number 28, still running, gets a block, taken down at the 35 for the Friars. It's gonna be a Friar first down. Friar first down, caught by number 28, Ninos Amir. Looks to be hurt on the play. A lot of hurt Friars this game. Looks as though he took a helmet to the knee. We've got a pretty big crowd out here tonight. Stands are packed. Middle school night as we said. All the seventh and eighth graders are coming to see their future high school, future football team, try and win a game here against Providence Catholic. Looks, looks as though Nino Samir is getting stretched out. May have just been cramps. Shout out to our stadium announcer, Jim Segreto been bringing it all night for us. Coach Segrito is a wonderful person who actually just had a baby girl. We're all proud of Coach Segrito. We <laughs> love him here at Fenwick. It's his first year doing this. Wonderful job. Looks as though Nino Samir is getting back to the sideline, walking off on himself. Love to see that. Friar offense is back on the field. First and 10. Oh, 
Posty back with Brian Tipponi. Comes back to pass. It's taken down. Celtics rush the backfield on a five-man blitz. Got past the O-line for a loss of five yards on the play. Correction, seven yards. Brings up second and 17 for the Friars. Jehosi takes a snap, fakes the wide receiver screen, rolls out, looks to run, takes a hit. Gain of eight yards on the play brings it to third and 11 for the Friars. We'd love to see a wide receiver that can roll out of the pocket and run by himself. We really need players to be able to take a hit in this team because Providence, one of the toughest teams out there. Confusion on the play. Substitutions were being made as the clock was winding down. Coach Battaglia took a timeout. Third and 11. Hopefully the Friars. Thanks to everyone watching. We really appreciate you. We do this all for you. Everything here is for you guys to enjoy at home. Yes, it is both. Mine and Andy's first time announcing, so thank you to all who are watching and listening to us. You can listen in as the year goes on. We're doing this every Friday night. Friars are back on the field, back to the line of scrimmage. Third and 11 looks as though there might be another pass for the Friars. Normal set of EJ Hosty and Brian Timponi in the backfield. But Coach Battaglia knows what he's doing on offense, has a very wide open playbook. Screen pass. Brian Timponi was tripped up by his offensive lineman. Incomplete pass. Makes it fourth and 11 for the Friars. Looks as though we might see another punt here. Or they're back in their set, trying to drive Providence off sides. EJ taking guidance from Coach Battaglia on the sideline. Snaps the ball, looking over the field. Dennis Moore caught number seven for a, a Friar first, first down. down. To the Providence 49 yard line. Great play call by Coach Battaglia. Looks as though Fenwick's going hurry up offense here. Everyone's getting back to the line. A true attest to is Mr. Battaglia's just great playbook. So many plays, so much versatility. EJ looking down the field, hit as he throws, intercepted by number 19. Taken down by number seven. And EJ hit as he throws, intercepted by number 19, Mason Straight. Tough break for the Friars. Coach Battaglia is having a word with the referees. Seems unhappy. Another flag on the play. Looks as though it's against Fenwick too. Correction, on Providence. Backs them up to their own 40 one yard line. Tough break for the Friars. Hopefully the defense can rebound here. Get a big playing going with 732 left in the third quarter. Providence is still up 22 to eight. Lots of time left in this game. Not enough time for the Friars to come back. Padfoot. Under center. Friars in the backfield. Jamari Tribbett on the run is taken down for a loss of two. Second and 11. Second and 12. Check that. Sea of black jerseys. 
Got past the offensive lineman. Proudfoot does not have a lot of time in the backfield. Defensive line is getting the rush early, bringing the, bring the blitz. Proudfoot is back under center with Tribbett back in the halfback position. Handed off again. Still going. Looks as though Celtics got a first down. Jamari Tribbett. Looks as though the Friars might have taken a timeout. Official timeout on the play. If you're in the stands, look out for some of our other broadcast members taking interviews and photos of our Friar Nation. Celtics are eager to run another play. Defense is still huddled with Coach Battaglia. The Celtics are running. Running up to the line of scrimmage. Friars are not set. Proudfoot back under center with Trebet in the backfield. Same play run again for another five yard gain for the Celtics. Celtics taking a very close look at how the defense is responding to these plays and choosing their cards wisely. Chance for the student section. Loud as usual. Celtics back to the line of scrimmage. Same formation as the last two plays. Wonder if we'll see the same exact play. It is. Two yard gain for the Celtics. This is the number six, Mason Santiago. Met by a sea of Friars. Defensive line was holding still, brings up third and three for the Celtics. Celtics are taking their time in the huddle. Trying to wind down the clock with 4.58 and counting remaining in the third quarter. Ball start by the Celtics. That'll back them up. It'll be third and eight for the Celtics. Crowd is thrilled that the referees are calling off the false start on From the Celtics. Brings up third and eight for the Celtics. Clock is still winding with 4.30 left in the third quarter. 8.22 Celtics. Same set formation. Five yard gain, four yard gain for the Celtics. Looks as though they ran the same run play just to the other side. The defensive line is stepping up though. Only a gain of two on that. Brings up fourth and five for the Celtics. Coach Matt Battaglia is jumping up and down in the air. Looks as though the Celtics are bringing out the punt unit. Will Gladden and Eliza Romius are back to receive. Fenwick is not packing the line of scrimmage for, to try and block this punt. Looks as though they might drop back to block. Run it, run it, run it. Fake punt. Looks as though number four for the Celtics. The punter runs it. Prov Friars were back to uh, block the 
blocked for the punt, which left it wide open for the uh, Celtics punter. Number four, Drew Zambetis. Celtics capitalized first and 10 on the Friars 43 yard line. Clear skies here at Triton College. Full moon. One star in the sky. Yes, one star in the sky. Beautiful night for some football. Hopefully the Friars can come back and win this game. Read option play to number 88 for the Celtics. First down for the Celtics. Number 88, Charlie Soltz on the catch. Friar defense looks tired on the field. Three minutes remaining in the third quarter. Providence is marching down the field. Run by the Celtics, met at the line. One yard gain. Looks as though it was Jamari Trebet on the run again. Mirko Yasic on the tackle. Looks as though the Celtics are trying to wind this clock down as much as possible. Very long third quarter for the Friars here. Numerous amounts of flags. Proud foot back under center. Trebet in the backfield as the halfback. Nate Marshall tracking down the quarterback with the tackle and the sack. Nate Marshall with a TFL. Very big play for the Friars. Proudfoot coming off the field with a limp. Looks as though Proudfoot's a little shaken up after that tackle. Loss of 14 yards on the play. Big tackle for the Friars. Brings up third and 24. Proudfoot in the shotgun, possibly looking for a pass here. Looks like Proudfoot's good from that injury. Big third down play here, looking right, open receiver. Ball is dropped on the field, huge pile. Looks as though the Celtics might have come up with it again. It'll be fourth and 10 for the Celtics after that fumble. Big play right here for the Friars. Hopefully they can get a stop to keep this game close. Clock is winding down with 30 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Looks as though they sent the field goal unit out for a long field goal try. Could see another fake punt, fake field goal. Looks as though it's going to be a 42-yard field goal try. Fenwick sidelines looking to get the crowd Looks amped. as though there's a flag on the play. Last year, last year the Fenwick Friars lost to Providence 21 to 10. Ended up winning state. Hopefully they're coming back for redemption this year. Hopefully they can get back into the game with a stop here and a missed field goal. Five yard penalty against the Celtics here. Makes it a 47 yard field goal. Online but short, Will Gladden takes it out of the end zone. Play is called dead by the referee. No good by the Celtics. Drew Zamatis with the kick. 
He has a leg, but not one for a 47 yard field goal, which would be a very large play for a high schooler. Twenty-two to eight is the score with two seconds remaining in the third quarter. A lot of time left on the clock. Good drive here with a score would put us right back in the right back into the heat of this game. Posty back in the backfield again. Shotgun set. Fumble on the play on the handoff. Looks as though it's recovered by the Celtics. End of the quarter. End of the third quarter. Celtics are going to take the ball on the Friar 20 yard line. Looking forward to next week for the Friars, homecoming week. On Monday, it will be a neon day, so wear your favorite neon apparel. Tuesday, Jersey Day. Represent whatever sports team you love most with the jersey. On Wednesday, USA Day, so support, be patriotic for your country. Thursday, we have Class Color Day. Freshmen are pink, sophomores are yellow, juniors are green, seniors are black and white, and the faculty is blue. On Friday, we get to wear our homecoming t-shirts. You gotta purchase one in the atrium. We also love our pep rally on Friday. Love to get our students in. Friday night, the Friars will be playing De La Salle homecoming game. Hopefully we can pull out a win there against a CCL white opponent. T-shirts for homecoming are $10 and they're available in the atrium of the school. Providence takes it over at the Friar 20 yard line, first and 10. Run by Jamari Trippett for a two yard gain, brings up second and eight. Celtics are knocking on the door of the Friars, trying to punch in another touchdown. 11.40 left in the game. Shotgun set, Proudfoot and Trebet back in the backfield again. Snap is high, received by Proudfoot. Trebet running through Friars, first down for the Celtics. Looks as though it's on the five yard of the five yard line of the Friars. The uh, Fall 2022 Ice Cream Social, sponsored by Campus Ministry, is being held Tuesday, September 13th at Fenwick. Celtics back on the line of scrimmage. Snap is taken by Proudfoot. Given off to Trebet. Met by a sea of Friars. Second and goal at the Friar five yard line. No gain on that play. 1040 left in the fourth. Eric Johnson on the tackle. Aaron, not Eric. Snap taken by Proudfoot, given off to Trebet again, met in the backfield by Nate Marshall with the tackle, brought down by a horde of Friars. Looks as though it'll be third and goal from the Friar four yard line. And the Friars are in the red zone. They're yeah, they are blitzing the Celtic offensive line very well and getting into the backfield for tackles for loss. Nine thirty remaining in the fourth quarter. Twenty-two to eight. Providence over Fenwick. Providence is looking to score again. Hopefully, the Friar defense can stand their ground. A lot of energy from the, from the Fenwick student section. Uh, 
Proudfoot is met in the backfield by number 54, David Blake with the tackle. David Blake looks a little shooken up. Looks as though Proudfoot is still on the ground. Gets up now. Looks as though the Celtics are sending out the field goal unit again. The band entertaining us all with their amazing skills. Drew Zamatis out as the kicker for Providence looking to punch it in. He missed his 47 yard field goal earlier. This one's up and through the uprights good. That will make it 25 to eight Providence with eight minutes and 30 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Good stop for the Fenwick defense. Hopefully the Fenwick offense can get going and march down the field. Shout out to all the Fenwick Friar fans coming tonight to watch us to watch the team play ball, especially the Friar student section. Caleb Grohl, Friar student section leader, starter for men's volleyball. He's in my study hall. Really bringing the energy. Although the score might not show that the Friars are doing their best, it sure looks like it. Friar student section is into this game still. Zamatis for the kickoff. Kick to Will Gladden again. Received at his 10 yard line. Running left, dodges a tackle brought down by two Celtic defenders at the 20 yard line. You know Tanner, you were saying earlier about the student section. Whether we win or lose, they always have a great time. So much energy. Fenwick has a great sense of community and always supports its teams. Strong alumni foundation here at Fenwick. Alumni are always showing out to support our Friars. Many alumni in the crowd tonight. Many of these alumni were also in the student section. EJ Hosey looking deep. Flag is thrown. A little long. Pass interference on the Celtics. Intended for Eliza Romeus. Held back by number 19 on the Celtics. Mason straight. Student section is letting Mason hear it about his PI. Gotta love the Friar student section. <laughs> 15 yard gain for the Friars off that pass interference. Posties, empty set in the backfield. Looks like another pass option for the Friars. Hostie back to pass, looking right. Middle of the field, wide open man. Number one, going for the touchdown, Jalen Williams. Touchdown. Jalen Williams with the touchdown. Touchdown, Friars. Amazing play by Coach Pataglia. Amazing call. Number one, Jalen Williams, slant route in the middle of the field. What an amazing open. run. EJ Hosty hit him in stride and he was off for a Friar touchdown. More trickery by the Friars, 25 to 14. That'll raise the Friar spirits as we hear Flag from the student section. thrown by the referee. On the Friars. Referees are relentless with these flags. Coach Battaglia is not happy with this call. Looks as though there might be a legal motion on the Friars. I can't say I agree with that call, Andy. I can't either. Friars are moved back. Field goal unit is on the field. 8-10 remaining in the game. 25 yard kick for number 18, Luis Avalos. 
Kick is up. Kick is good. And it's good. Makes it 25 to 15. Thanks to Louis. 8 10 remaining in the fourth quarter. Friars are back in this game. Fenwick 15, Celtics 25. 8 10 left in the fourth quarter. For the Friars. Hopefully, this gets the energy going. Energy that we need to win this football game. You can see the Friar student section is singing along to the fight song. Only takes know. one touchdown. Only takes one touchdown for us to get back into this game. Friars are hype on the sideline along with the student section and the alumni. You hear a change of the energy here. Fenwick players have more pep in their step as they step on the field. Like I said, 8-10 remaining in the fourth quarter. More than enough time for the Friars to get a stop on D and punch in another score. I wonder if Coach Battaglia will try some trickery, try and get another onside kick in here. That's almost a guarantee, Tanner. Providence is lining up for it. Fenwick's still in the huddle. Looks it though it was. Ball did not go 10 yards though. Onside kick by the Friars did not go as expected. Ball only went eight yards. Looks as though the Providence Celtics will have some great field position on this next drive. I think we were right about that trickery, Tanner. Coach Battaglia is known for his very tr trickster-like plays. And his very large playbook. Always pulling something behind his sleeve. Trick plays are one of the cornerstones of Coach Battaglia's offense and defense. Providence will take over, first and 10 from the Fenwick 47. Hand off to Tribbett, met in the backfield by number 75, Mirko Yashic. A lot of energy from the crowd. Ripped to the ground. Great infiltration by the defensive line. Mirko Yashic wants revenge for the last drive by Providence. Seven forty-five remaining in the fourth. Defense is looking to get a big stop here. Shout out to Mirko on that tackle. He's also part of the broadcast club. As you'll see at Fenwick, students are involved in many different things. Flag on the play. Looks as though there's a false start on the offense. Offsides on the Celtics. Big call by the referee for the Friars. These calls are starting to turn around. Will be second and 15 here. Proud foot. Under center. Looks as though to be wasting time. Confused with his play call. Tight end motions to the left. Hand off to number six. Number six, Mason Santiago. Gain a three on the play. Brings up third down for the Celtics. The cheerleaders getting the student section amp. The cheer is making these folks so energized and so in the game. Celtics are taking their time. Clock is still winding. Six minutes and 20 seconds left in this game. 25 to 15 Celtics. Proudfoot is under center again. Mason Santiago in the backfield. Another handoff. Fourth and five, tackled at the Friar 46. 
41, excuse me. Looks as though the Celtics might be going for it here. Could be a very big play if they get this first down. Clock continues to wind. 515 left in the fourth. Crowd is getting very Excuse loud me. for this fourth down. Proudfoot going under center again. Fenwick sideline. Seven left in the quarter. Fenwick sideline is so amped. I don't believe he's gonna take the snap. He's trying to There's a flag on the play. Drive the Friars offside, but it's not gonna work. Flag on the play. Coach Matt Patagulia saying no to the ref. Declined the uh, delay of game. Shout out to the JV team who took a W against Providence earlier today with the 26 to 21 victory. Love to see it. Five thirteen. clock is stopped. Looks as though Celtics are trying to punt here. Number four, Drew Zamatis with the punt. Also number four, Will Gladden back to receive, standing at his own 10 yard line. Friars are going to rush it, snap it. Punt is off, Will lets it. Punt goes into the end zone. Celtics were rushing after it, but just couldn't catch it. Touchback for the Friars. 5.03 left in the game. Ball will be placed at the Friar 20 yard line. Hopefully, Coach Battaglia has something drawn up for this. EJ Hosey goes back as the QB. There's a boys' soccer game tomorrow versus Lions Township. Friar come should be there. The, come out to that. <laughs> Make sure to support our Friars. EJ Hosey with Brian Timponi in the backfield. Motions out left. Empty set in the backfield. Hosey by himself. Takes a snap. Drops back for a pass. Looking in the middle of the field. No breakthrough. Pass is almost picked off. Intended for number seven, Dennis Moore. Thrown to the sideline. Great O line, had lots of time to throw. Providence only rushed three there. 4.56 remaining in the fourth. Another shotgun set. Snap is taken, drops back for a pass. Motions out to the right, looking over the middle for number 33, pass is caught. Brought down at the 40, number 33. That is, Brian Tipponi. That is getting the student section so amped. Friar first Side down. Lines. Friar first down at the Celtics 43 yard line. Big play for the Friars. One run like that can change the whole game. Yes it can. Energy, momentum, all in Fenwick's favor right now as they're marching down the field. Looks as though there's a flag against the Celtics. Ball will be moved. Friars never giving up. Part of her fighting spirit. Looks as though it's a 15 yard penalty on the Friars. Puts it at the Providence own 36 yard line. Friars great field position with 440 left in this game. First down, Friars here. Hosey with the snap, looking left. Finds a wide open, Elijah Ramius running for a Friar first down again. Up Providence to the, nine. Up to the Celtic nine yard line. Huge play, Fenwick still marching, hurry up offense here. Everyone's getting back to the line. Four minutes, 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. EJ takes a snap, looking left again. Hits Brian Timponi, catches it. Big tackle. Up to the Celtic five yard line now, second and goal. 
Four yard increase for the Fenwick Friars. Fenwick's back to the line again. Not wasting any time. Looks as though there's a timeout on the field. Taken by the Celtics trying to look over their defense. The offense is marching down the field, trying to score here. 25 to 15, score here. Two point conversion could put us right back in this game. Prior student section is getting hype. Cheerleaders are cheering. Crowd is getting loud. Nothing like Friday night football. Fenwick has not had a comeback win yet this year. Hopefully we can make it happen. Four minutes left in the game. Fenwick football players. EJ Hosty and Brian Timponi have been hooking up on this drive for the past three plays. Shotgun set again. Brian Timponi in the backfield with EJ Hosty. Hosty takes a snap. Celtics are bringing the house. Pass to number one, Jalen Williams. It's good! The touchdown! That is his second touchdown of the game. For the Friars, number one, Jalen Williams. Big play by the Friars. 354. One run, Tanner. In the game. One run. That's all it takes. Great speed and feet for Jalen Williams, number one. Amazing catch. 25 to 21. Looks as though the field goal unit is going out. Luis Avalos for the kick. Luis puts it through it's the good. upright. 25 to 22, one score game. Federal Boy, looking I to make that comeback. This crowd is loud. The marching band's getting into it. The student section's into it. Alumni are cheering. Middle school night is living up to the hype. The energy in the air. Unbeatable. 25 to 22, 354 left in the game. Band is cranking out the Friar fight song. Everyone's getting into it. They love playing that song. It's the first song they learned when they joined the band. Greatest school fight song there ever was, ever will be. It's tradition at Fenwick to not learn the second verse of that song, but everyone still hums along to it. Yeah. I've actually heard that the second part of the lyrics don't exist. Just the music playing, yep. and everyone loves it. Everyone pretending like they know the lyrics. Might see another trick play with an onside kick here. Speaking of the fight song, some freshmen have some work to do. Would be wise to kick it back to the Celtics, put them back in their own end zone. Fenwick student section, keeping up the amp. Three onside kicks in one night. Possible, I guess we'll see. Friars taking a long time in their huddle for this kickoff, really talking over what they think they should do. Never say never to Mr. Battaglia, Tanner. Clock is running. 3.54 left in this game. A lot of trickery for Coach Battaglia. They did Coach a little Bataglia. fake there. Celtics are moving back, on anticipating a squib kick. Oh, On-time two fakes. Kick. Recovered by the Celtics at the 50 yard that line. That was three total fake kicks in one play, folks. Only at Fenwick. Play has been used a lot in our past three games. 25 to 22. Good field position for the Celtics, especially when they're up three with four minutes left. Can the Friars pull it out? I hope they can. I hope so too, Tanner. We really need an interception this rush. Need an interception or a stop here. Maybe a pick or two. Defense has three men on the line with four linebackers. 
Looks as though there may be a blitz on this play. Friars bring it end around to number 11 on the Celtics. Running, now at the 20, goes out of bounds at the 15 yard line. Number 19, Mason straight on the end around. Picks up nearly, nearly 40 yards on that play. Celtics with 344 left, now have it at the Friar 15 yard line. First and 10 here. Defense needs to come up big here. Big stop. Crowd puts back, hands it off to Trebet on the run. Motions out right, running right. Six yard pickup from Trebet on the Friar seven. On to the Friars eight yard line. Solid D line could not get through. Escape to the right though. Hurt Friar on the play. Celtics seem to be avoiding the D line more than running straight through it. A lot of injuries early in the season Looks for as this game. Nate Marshall is down again. He seems to be on his knee. Nate Marshall's walking off the field now. Thank seems he might be out for the rest of the game. Okay. Friar defense is going back on the field. Celtics trying to seem to get 90 out of the play for this game. Stacked offensive line, Proudfoot under center again. Looks as though it might be another handoff to number seven, Trebet. 3-10 left in the fourth. Friars are down three. Clock is winding. Looks as though he's trying to wind the clock down as much as possible before snapping. Still there. Friars are booing. Not jumped over the line. Motions over the tight end to the right side. Trebet on to the right. Met by Friars. Taken down at the Friar eight yard line. No gain on that play. Looks as though it will be third and four with 240 left in the game. Clock is stopped. Looks as though there's a timeout on the play. Two forty left in this game. This one's coming down the wire here, Andy. Sure is. And keeping us entertained as always. Fenwick defense getting back onto the field after that timeout. Celtics as well. Fenwick sideline hyping up the crowd. Everyone's getting loud. Huge third down play here. Must be two down territory for the, uh, for the Celtics. Proudfoot under center again. Tight end left side. Pass play here. Looking to the middle, motions out to the left. Looks as though he's gonna be tackled. Ripped tackled to the ground. By Elijah Ramius. Massive open field tackle by Not Elijah Not letting Ramius. him get by. Loss of a yard on that play will be bring up fourth and five. 2.32 left in the game. Huge open field tackle. Uh, 
behind the offensive line. 232, timeout on the field. Fourth and five from the Fenwick 11 yard line. Celtics trying to punch one in. Friars are trying to make a stop to get the offense back on the field so they could score a touchdown and win this game. Friars student section getting into the game. Band, the band is louder Looks than slow. ever. This Huge fourth down play right here for the Fenwick Friars. Trying to get a stop. Proudfoot takes the snap. Looking left for a pass. Taken down by Nate Marshall in the backfield. Huge sack. What a big play for the Friars. Such a big play. So much momentum going into this game. Friars are going to take it over at their own 20. Friars are pumped. Line. Two and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter. What do you think is going to happen, Tanner? I think the Fenwick Friars can march down the field and win this football game. I think so, too. I think we're going to be singing the fight song at the end of this two and a half minutes. Huge, huge hot take by Andy. Anything is possible with the Friars. Ball is at the 19-yard line, first and 10. So much energy from the crowd. EJ Hosty going out for QB. Seeing what they can do with this two and a half minutes. Classic shotgun set for the Friars. Flag is thrown on the Friars. Looks as though they're gonna get moved five yards back. First and 15 from their own 12 yard line. Three sacks by the Friars tonight. Huge showing by the defensive line for the Friars. Same set for EJ Hosey. Drops back end around to Dennis Moore, running to the sideline, trying to get out of bounds. Does. First and 15, no gain on the play. Actually lost the yard, second and 16. Clock is stopped with 2.20 left. Must be looking for a downfield pass here. Need to gain some yardage. No timeouts for the Friars. Need to make sure we get out of bounds after catching the ball. Hurry to the line to spike it if it's in the middle of the field as well. Hosey takes a pass. Fake wide receiver screen, rolls out to the right, looking downfield, thrown incomplete. Intended for number eight, Rowan White. Brings up big third and 16. Two down territory for the Friars, have to go for it. 2.12 left in the fourth. Third and 18. Friars empty backfield, looking to go slants down the middle of the field, trying to get the ball close to that first down yard marker. EJ Hosey alone, takes a snap, drops back to pass, throws a pass, incomplete. incomplete. Pressure on the quarterback, trying to throw, hard pass to make. It will be fourth, fourth, fourth and 18. And fourth and 18 for the Friars. Big play here, have to convert for a first down. 2.05 remaining. No timeouts for the Friars. First down here gets the game going again. Brian Timponi motions out to the left. Empty backfield set. Back to pass is Hosey. Looking in the middle of the field. Has Jalen Williams. Oh, incomplete pass. Loss on down for the Friars with two minutes left in the game and no timeouts. Tanner, what do you think these players are feeling right now? <coughs> Heartache, might as, I just don't know if the Friars can get a stop here. Celtics might just need the ball to end the game. It looks as though 
Providence will go into victory formation, end the game here. Heartbreaking loss for the Friars. Truly. Almost seceded in the comeback. 25 to 22 is the score. Providence is in victory formation. We'll need the ball for the rest of the game to wind down the clock. Tough fight on both sides. Clock still winds down. Great showing by the Fenwick defense tonight. Even though the score might not look as though it is, Fenwick definitely had some major plays on the defensive side of the ball. Also, thanks for everyone in the crowd and on the live stream for turning out, watching us. Thank you all. One twenty left. Clock still winding. Another knee is taken. Tough fight by the Friars. Didn't pay off though. Hopefully they'll come back next week with a win against De La Salle for our homecoming. Make sure you buy your tickets in advance. They're $17 on Monday and Tuesday, and they're $25 on Fenwick homecoming t-shirts will be sold in school in the atrium for $10 each. Make sure you buy one of those. So you can get free dress on Friday. Get pumped for our homecoming pep rally on Friday also. Yes. Gotta love those. Neil by number two, Proudfoot, which will end the game. Thank you all for listening. I'm Tanner Malco. I'm Andrew.